Amos chapter 3 and verse 3. Can two walk together except they be agreed? First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. I want to give double honors to the apostles of great millstone that do rule well. Salutations to the men of the hope plan since they elect. This is a brother Makazar from the Trinidad camp. Just want to do all the edification for the elect's sake. And the name of this lesson would be Two Thirds and Not Your Friend. Two Thirds and not your friend stop keeping their companies when i say stop keeping their companies in the sense of you wanting to you know make it priority or customary to hang out with two-thirds you know go in the bar you know watch movies you know just hang out for a few drinks just chill kick it reminisce on old times two-thirds of our people are not your friend all right what did, what did Jeremiah said? Jeremiah said they be all adulterous and wicked men. Alright? Two-thirds aren't your friend. Two-thirds, they, they, they're not even friends among themselves. They have no loyalty even amongst themselves. That's what the scripture says. Him that is evil to himself, to whom shall he do good? If they're evil to one another, how would they do you good when they hate the light? They speak evil of you behind your back. Alright? And... It with with or without any, you know, second guessing, they will just they will they will they will turn against you. All right, they will turn against you. They steal from you. They rob you. All right, two thirds of, of of our people, they will they will they will have sex with your wives behind your back. All right, they will they will you know they will try to extort you. All right, two thirds of our people, they will do all sorts of things. So, really and truly. You know, if you if you don't have to deal with two thirds, you know, sometimes you might have to deal with them because of your job. But other than that, you know, don't don't make it your business to be always around two thirds, wanting them to be in your, on, on in somewhat your inner circle, all right. And that could that could be a family member or a friend, all right. The scripture says a man falls a day of his own household. That's why Yahweh Shai said the ones that do the will of his Father which is in heaven, they are his family. Right, but a lot of times when you can't let go from you know surrounding yourself with two thirds because you haven't let go of that old man, you haven't let go of that old man, so you want to sit and drink with them, you want to go out and have limes with them, go on the beach, you know. With two, guess what? That is not a crowd for you to be in. The scripture says the righteous man is more excellent than his neighbor, but the way of the wicked seduced him. The way of the wicked seduce them. Just the conversations of the wicked alone would put you back in that wicked mindset. Because when you want to talk about righteousness and they want to talk about wickedness, how 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 you people really converse? How do you really converse with our two thirds when you really want to talk righteousness and they want to talk all only wickedness? What do you speak about? This is First Corinthians, chapter one. And verse 10, it says, Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord, Yahweh Shem Mashiach, that ye all speak the same thing. So if you can't speak the same thing, why are you even congregating with them? Can two walk except they agreed? They want to talk about adulteries. They want to talk about revelry and debauchery. What you gonna, how are you going to respond to those things? No, brother, you know you can't do this. The Bible still don't do that. You know, the Lord will punish you. Guess what? At some point, they wouldn't want to hear you. So soon you'll be excommunicated from their inner circle. But if you're not being excommunicated from the circle, then it's because you're not doing that. So then when they talk about worldly ass things and they're not speaking evil of you because you run not with them in the same excess of right, if they speak well of you, what are you talking about? The scripture says your father spoke well of evil men. <laughs> If tutors could want to be around your circle, and these said tutors have no dealings with the truth whatsoever, what do you really talk about? You have to consider your conversations. You have to consider your conversations because for the most part, it might not be godly. All right? It says, Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, that you all speak the same thing and that there be no divisions among you. The Lord said he came to, 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 um, to share a sword and for division. So if he divided you from two-thirds, who is you to go and join yourself back? 
it says and that you be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment how could you be joined in the same mind and same judgment when two thirds when they of one sort and you of another sort yeah what shai said you are from beneath and from above and if we we know we we've been we be born with Yahweh Shai, then we also are from above and not from below. All right. So stop, stop trying to congregate with two thirds. Stop trying to sit and have drinks with two thirds. They are not your friends. They are not your friends. Just remember it. The scriptures talk about how the 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 whore envy the righteous woman. It's the same thing with the, with the men. They have a problem with you. They, as the scriptures in the wisdom of Solomon too, his lifestyle is not of um of our um sort so to speak and he esteem it always as uncleanness all right they hated the righteous man so if you lie with two thirds if you're hanging out with two thirds and they don't have a problem with you then guess what you really need to check what you're doing you really need to check your conversations when you're among them all right what you really need to do is to stay away from them all right because your friends your inner circles supposed to be with the brothers all right It says <sighs> Ecclesiasticus chapter 27 and 13. It says the discourse of fools is irksome, it's hateful, it's distasteful. The discourse of fools, the conversations of fools is irksome, and their sport is the wantonness of sin. So their sport is the wantonness of sin. So if their sport is to commit sin, commit iniquity, how you are part of their con um their congregation. Then the scripture says, Come out from among them. The scripture says, Come out from among them, my people, and be ye separate. Come out from among them and be ye separate. Stop trying to be one with two thirds. Stop trying to be one with two thirds. Come out from among them and be ye separate. This is what the scripture says. You're not paying attention to the scriptures that you so swear to live by. When you finding you know pleasure in 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 you know making two thirds your close entourage. Always wanna be around them, and not only wanting to be around them, trying to get brothers to be around them. Now guess what? By you making yourself clean, you know you basically what you're doing, you're doing like what dogs do. You know, you now bait a dog, and as you finish bait your dog, you dry your skin, it run outside and go in the dirt and start rubbing your skin in the dirt all over. This is what you're doing by making yourself clean and going back around two thirds and lineman. And not only that, you want to bring your brothers into it too. Alright? So you not only you know causing yourself to be you know, in the midst of sin, but also trying to bring your brethren down that same path. All right? And that's evil. All right? It's Ecclesiastes chapter 13 and verse 1. It says, He that toucheth pitch shall be defiled therewith. And he that hath fellowship with a proud man shall be like unto him. So if you, if you, having congregations and you've been one with two thirds guess what you gonna be just like a two thirds the scriptures don't lie all right the two thirds in you gonna start to show out basically because you want to be always around two thirds and you find it cool to be around two thirds the two thirds in you gonna start to show out and your light gonna start to dim two thirds are not your friend they are not your friends all right, the final precept here is Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and verse 11. It says, Envy not the, the glory of a sinner. All right, don't worry about how they, you know, they might come together and have drinks and have cookouts and go on the beach. And don't worry about that. You have your brothers to do that with. Envy not the glory of a sinner, for thou knowest not what his end shall be. Let's say the Lord, the scripture said, The Lord bring judgment to light every day. Let's see the Lord bringing judgment among those two thirds. And now you are among them. You know what's going to happen? You're going to get caught up in that judgment. It says, Delight not in the thing that the ungodly have pleasure in. But remember that they shall not go unpunished unto their grave. 
all right jumping down to verse 15 and uh, 14 it says as near as thou canst guess at thy neighbor and consult with the wise all right so basically just congregate yourself among the brotherhood all right let thy talk be with the wise and all thy communication all not some all thy communication in the law of the most high means your conversation is supposed to be lawful at all times all right now we know us for sure that two-thirds conversation not lawful and not godly so what do you talk about when you with two-thirds all right verse 16 and let just men eat and drink with thee and let thy glory and be in the fear of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. So let just men eat and drink with thee. Congregate yourself among the brotherhood, not amongst two thirds. They are not your friends. All right. So with that, I want to give all praises and all glory to Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. I want to give double honors to the apostles of great mercy and do rule well. Salutations to the men of the hope plan. Since I elect, this is your brother Makazar from the Trinidad camp saying Shalawam and stay strong. Shalawam.